I feel like after 2016, it became cool again to, to collect bags that had logo, whereas in the early 2010s, it was all about like vintage and low key classic bags, almost like these like beat up bags, which is weirdly coming back again, probably because we're People are saying we're going back into a recession, so that's probably why the trends are changing in that way. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. I know a lot of you guys are obsessed with Taylor Swift, so I thought I might talk about today Taylor Swift's handbags over the years. And it seems like weirdly Taylor Swift hasn't really been spotted with many Chanel, Dior or Hermes bags. And upon doing research on Taylor Swift's handbag collection, well, I just googled it and I looked at uh, purse pop articles, I looked at Vogue articles and I noticed a few patterns as to the way that Taylor Swift likes to dress, what brand she chooses and I thought I'd discuss it today in this video. Now let me know if you're a real Swifty because I know Taylor Swift played in Melbourne just recently and in Sydney and a few friends at my work were really trying to get tickets but it seemed really competitive. I do like Taylor Swift but um, I didn't try and get tickets to her concert but I have seen this big obsession towards her lately. You know, I go to JB Hi-Fi and her face is like all over the whole charts and I just see so many people in the shopping center with Taylor Swift t-shirts and even on YouTube and people are talking about Taylor Swift. I don't know if Taylor Swift loves Chanel or Hermes bags because I couldn't really find any pictures of her wearing them. But with celebrities, you know, they usually have these like brand deals. They are sent bags, they're gifted bags. And I'm not sure as to whether Taylor Swift uh, buys many of her own bags or most of them are sent to her or she's paid to wear them. But let's go through some of the major designer brands that she is typically seen wearing. Louis Vuitton. So recently she was seen wearing the camera box bag, which is a new design from Louis Vuitton in the monogram version. And I believe this bag may have been gifted to quite a few Louis Vuitton ambassadors. I'm not sure if Taylor was paid to wear this bag and whether she is a Louis Vuitton ambassador. I know that Louis Vuitton has many celebrities that uh, I guess promote them. So perhaps Taylor Swift also has a contract with Louis Vuitton, but I do not know. Uh, it, it could be that she just went out and bought this bag herself, but she does have a record of wearing a few monogram bags over the years. It was also photographed probably over nine years ago with a Cruiser vanity bag, which is uh, was a part of, uh, I think, Nicola Gasquet's, um runway collections. Um, it's quite a rare bag. I don't see many people wearing this bag, but again, it's that cute little vanity shape which I feel like really ties in with her style she has a like she has a little bit of like a retro look to her and a very classic uh, like kind of um yeah like 1950s kind of style vibe happening so the vanity bags really suit her I've also seen her rock a Christian Louboutin Louis Vuitton collaboration top handle bag with the studs and I know that earlier on in the 2010s it looked like Taylor Swift have, had a little bit more of like a hipster aesthetic so the studs really I feel like work in with her style as well and although her style has evolved over the years I still feel like this Louis Vuitton bag really suits her and I know that there was a lot of hype around this collection at the time of its release so perhaps Louis Vuitton gifted her this bag as well perhaps um she just loved it because I have seen her photographed in many Christian Louboutin high heels as well. They were very trending, you know, in the late 2010s, um, you know, mid 2010s as well. So interesting uh, that she has owned quite a few Louis Vuitton monogram bags. Recently, I have also seen her photographed with the Saint Laurent Le 5A7 Supple, which is a hobo bag in a beautiful brown leather. Hobo bags are coming back in fashion. They're a little bit of a Y2K aesthetic in a way, like the hobo style. We haven't seen it in a while, but you know, with trends, they kind of come back in cycles. And I have seen a lot of designer brands reintroducing the hobo style, and it does suit Taylor Swift quite well. Um, the Celeron logo, yeah, she does have a few bags which adorns this logo. Yeah, it, it, it's possible that she's also a Celeron ambassador. Um, it's possible that they also sent this bag to her. Um, as I said, I have never seen her in a Chanel bag or, you know, even a Dior bag. So I think this is on purpose. Like usually, yeah, I, it could be just a gift to her. But again, I'm not too sure. Um, I've also seen her with a Celeron college bag. So the black quilted version, which also adorns the big Cassandra logo. 
um, also kind of feeds into that edgy style that she has, which is a bit of a juxtaposition of, she also has this like lady chic style with like flowers and all that. And then she's also been seen with the Cassandra bag in green. This is a little bit of a newer bag as well. And I've also seen her with the Kate uh, belt bag. So belt bags were pretty, I think they were at the peak of their trends probably five or so years ago, you know, with the Louis Vuitton belt bag and the Alexander Wang, Wang belt bag. I believe Taylor also had a collaboration with Stella McCartney and thus she has also been seen wearing a few bags from Stella McCartney, which is a vegan brand. So the first bag is the Fella Bella, which I feel like is the most iconic bag from this brand. Um, it's a vegan leather, often quite slouchy, has a chain, and she was seen with a black version of this. She was also seen rocking an apple skin embossed bucket bag. Apple skin is actually quite interesting. I wouldn't mind owning a bag in apple skin myself just to see what it is like. And I think it's a really cool alternative to, you know, some of these like plasticky leather uh, bags. You know, sometimes brands say it's vegan leather, but it's really just, you know, PU, which is not necessarily good for the environment either. So apple skin, it's probably uh, better for the earth. You know, it probably decomposes easier. Um, but I don't know how it would wear, but I'm curious. I mean, I do like how it has a little apple charm as well. And she's also been seen with like a a brown a woven bag. I'm not sure what this is called, but it's like a brown flat bag from Stella McCartney. Uh, yeah, so she's definitely promoting the brand um, in a good way. And I think it does tie in with her style as well. She has a little bit of a hipster style to her. So like an alternative lifestyle, like being vegan and all of that. So I'm not sure. I don't think she is a vegan, but yeah, it kind of just works with her whole vibe, um, her collaborating with Stel Stella McCartney. In the past, so I would say maybe nine or ten years ago, she was spotted with a lot of Dolce & Gabbana bags. Back in the day, you did see Taylor Swift wearing quite a few Dolce & Gabbana bags, like quite regularly, and she loved this bag called the Sarah bag, which is like this little like top handly purse bag. Uh, looks like a bit of a vintage vibe. I think it is so adorable. Um, I really love it myself. And then there's also a bag called the Agata bag, which is very similar but it's just a bit of a slightly different like kiss lock shape so yeah she has a little bit of like a vintage retro vibe particularly in the early 2010s it was a little bit more hipster than now it's kind of gone more into this like logo mania style which is very late 2010s you know i feel like after 2016 came cool again to to collect bags that had logo whereas in the early 2010s it was all about like vintage and like low-key classic bags almost like these like beat up bags which is weirdly coming back again probably because we're people are saying we're going back into a recession so that's probably why the trends are changing in that way i'm seeing that as well that's why i feel like tw early 2010s fashion is coming back and if you look at taylor swift's early 2010s fashion uh yeah it does bring back a lot of memories she has owned a few gucci bags as well in 2016 she was photographed with a gucci satchel yeah very hipster vibes with in the dark red color which again is coming back in fashion and it's a bit of a vintage looking bag uh has that like you know iconic clasp that you see on a lot of the jackie bags she was also later seen with a gucci belt bag a little bit more logo mania and the gucci padlock bag she was seen wearing at the gym now in terms of bulgari uh there was this one bag that she was photographed with in this stunning blue color isabella rosalini bag i think this bag suits her so well and when she wears those like lady chic outfits like those more like 1950s style like floral outfits it really suits her and i think that's why dolce and gabbana really suits her when she goes for that style but your tail switch style is a bit random like sometimes she's like rock and roll and sometimes she's like this like pin-up girl look so I don't know how to explain it. I Maybe I should break it down more, but um, yeah, I think this Bulgari bag is quite pretty actually, but I've never seen it before. I only discovered it through finding photos of Taylor Swift with the designer bag, so I'm not sure if it was very successful as a design. And she does own a few Prada Galleria bags as well. I don't know if she wears them um, these days, but back in the day, probably around 2016, again, she was photographed with a Prada Galleria in black and in like a beige color 
And yeah, just a classic top handle bag again, probably one of Prada's most iconic bags. I've also seen her with a Velextra bag, which is quite kind of interesting because it's a brand that I don't hear a lot of people talk about, but Velextra is supposed to have really beautiful quality. And again, it's just a classic top handle bag, uh, similar vibe to like the Dolce & Gabbana bag she has, or even the Bulgari. Um, the good thing about Taylor is that she doesn't only wear really expensive designer brands, she also really inspires people to buy contemporary brands and she has been either, she's probably gifted a lot of these bags as well, but they do really work for her style because a lot of them don't have logos. And I think if you're a celebrity, you can't really wear logos unless you are literally a brand ambassador or if you're paid to, which probably explains why she doesn't wear Chanel some Dior bags because they're too recognizable as brands but some of these other contemporary brands you wouldn't really know what brand it is unless you knew so they're a little bit more safe and they don't overpower her look too much so she was seen wearing a coach bag um a coach classic court bag uh this was more pre-2015 I believe maybe um nine or so years maybe like 2015 yeah, maybe almost 10 years ago she was seen with this bag. Also the Kate Spade Bow Terrace Top Handle Bag. I don't think this is a bag that she would wear in 2024, but as I was saying in the early 2010s, this was very much her style to wear these like cutesy top handle bags. Um, the Ali Saab Flat Bag in Green. Really stunning colour. It's very under the radar. I had no idea this was Ali Saab. I had to look it up myself. She also had a few Todd's bags, and Todd's is a brand that I believe is... It's pretty underrated, like their leathers are quite nice, but the prices are really uh, reasonable. It's just that Todd's is very bad at marketing and some of their designs look a little bit dated. But yeah, Taylor Swift was seen wearing a few bags from Todd's as well. Um, Mark Cross. Mark Cross is a really classic brand. Uh, I really like their little trunk style bags, but she was seen with a satchel, Scotty satchel from Mark Cross. Uh, Bland, Brandon Blackwood is another contemporary brand, um, and Taylor is rocking the Kendrick Croc Embossed Leather Top Handle Bag. Orpon. I've never heard of this brand before, but there's, they have this bag called the Nirvana Bag, uh, which has a little bit of this like scoopy asymmetrical shape. It's really pretty, um, and I I think she has been seen wearing this in modern day. So Allpot is a brand that I might actually do some more research on because yeah, the design is quite interesting actually. I think it's quite nice and apparently it's much more affordable than you know like a Louis Vuitton bag. Um, and finally the Mansur Gavriel uh, mini soft lady bag. Um, so Mansur Gav Gavriel, uh, Gavriel bags. I don't know if they're as popular as they used to be. I feel like people are more talking about like de Melier and all these other random um contemporary bags now a brand now even like uh pauline but manta gabriel um it was really popular in the late 2010s but you know it might come back again so anyways uh thanks for listening to my bobby video today let me know what are your favorite bags from taylor swift's collection and thanks for listening oh and please like and subscribe guys i'm really trying to hit my goal um, of growing my channel this year, obviously, and I'm pretty close to, I think I'm close to 14,000 now, so keep it going, Jess. Okay, all right, see you guys on my next one. Bye!